In the previous lesson, we took a look at the back end. And in this lesson, I want to show you on the front end how things work. So when you click save for the first time, you're going to get this front end editor and preview. So when you click on preview, you're going to preview the page you just created. And right now, nothing is pretty much on this page. But before we do that, I want to change the framework that we're going to use and use the Helix framework for the front end. So let's go over to joomshaper.com and we're going to download and install the framework. So when you go to joomshaper.com, you want to make sure that you click where it says Helix Ultimate. This is the new and awesome framework that I love, love, love. And what you want to do here, you don't want to click on the quick start package because you don't need that. That comes with this design and all the content there. You want to click where it says template. So click and bother. This is free frameworks. So you click on download. Once you've downloaded it, now let's head back over to the site. I'm going to close this out for now. So you want to go to extensions and then you want to go to install this. The way that you install templates and extensions and plugins is pretty much the exact same way. So let's go over to browse. So I'm browsing. I've got the Helix framework that has been installed right now. And once it's done, you want to go over to extensions, templates, just click on it. And you notice that you see the Helix framework here at the very bottom. Let's go over to the front end to go to the front and you click right here. So when you look in the front end, this is what the design looks like now. This is the default Joomla uh, template, the front end, the protostar. So what I want to do is you want to click to click this little star here. This is going to make the Helix framework the default. So when you go on the front and you refresh the page, now this is what you have. So this is what we need. So we've done that. Let's go back to page builder. I'm going to exit out here. Let's go back to page builder. And we are going to go over to the front end. And when you come back to page builder, you notice you have preview and you have front end editor. So you want to click on the front end editor and you have to log in first. Once you've successfully logged in, you're going to see all the icons that are on the left hand column here. And they've made some changes so you can just kind of scroll down the layouts, the tools, uh, everything on the right side instead of you having to click at the very top. They made some adjustments, which I absolutely love it. So you have the blocks. These are pre-designed uh, built-in blocks that you can just drag and drop. And we'll take a look at that later on. You have the layouts. You can choose. You have the different templates. Uh, you have the tools. My sections, my add-on, and we're going to take a look at this stuff um, later on just so you can. But it's very basic. So the back end looks different from the front end. And then you can go to pages. This is going to show the pages that you currently have on uh, the site. So right now we don't have anything. You can go back to the add-on. And you can be able to drag and drop things uh, throughout you know, different parts of the page. You can create uh, the same way that you can create different columns and rows you do the same thing too so i want that one if i didn't want it i click here and i can change the layout if i didn't want it i click back here and i can change the layout so it gives you the same flexibility uh, that you have right there it's very simple and very easy for you to do that so next we are going to start taking a look at this add-ons and how you can be able to do that 